Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I want to share something that the Lord showed me, right? The Lord showed me a woman that was getting married, right? And from far, she could see the person that she was going to get married to, and out of nowhere, this person got snatched. This person disappeared. And when this person disappeared, she got presented to the person that she was actually supposed to get married to. And as she got closer to this person, as she communicated with this person, as they were in each other's presence, she just couldn't stand the person, right? She just couldn't stand the person. And everything she brought up to God, everything she presented to God concerning this person... She already knew. Outside of that environment, outside of what God was showing me, this person already knew. So an example, if God showed that this person, if God had spoken already to someone, right? And God said, oh, your husband is Jamaican, right? When she found out that he was Jamaican, it irritated her. But she was like, but why am I getting irritated? Like, I already know that my husband is Jamaican and this man is Jamaican. And every time she got irritated by something, she took it to God. She felt peace. There was just peace. And her whole family was accepting of this guy. Her whole family was happy that this guy was in her life. And she kept saying, my marriage has been prearranged. This is an arranged marriage. But every time she got closer to the guy, it was just irritation. She just felt like, ah, I can't stand it. And every time, I'm going to say this again, and every time she took it to God, peace would come over her and she would remember, this is what God has said to me before I had met him. I am now seeing what God had already spoken concerning this person. And this is to say that we say that we are okay with what God has shown us. We say that we are okay with how our spouse is going to be presented to us. But the truth of the matter is, that many of us say it with our mouths, but we are not entirely being honest. Something inside of us hasn't fully accepted what God has said. And God wants us to work on our heart postures. God wants us to work on ourselves. God wants us to let go of anything that could block that could block us from meeting this person, anything that would make us chase this person away. For the fact that the family was accepting of it, for the fact that the wedding had already been prearranged, there was already a dress, there was already venue, everything, decoration, everything was done. And there was unity in the family. That showed me that that was God, that the presence of God was all around, that the confirmation of God was all around. The peace that she felt after complaining about a certain character, a certain attitude, that peace came from God. And she constantly remembered, hey, this has already been said to me, so why am I upset? Why am I not accepting this why am i feeling ugh about it that's god revealing that many of us are saying with our mouths yes i accept yes i am ready yes he can look like that okay maybe um you have always wanted a certain type of guy and God has just shown you that, hey, this isn't who I have for you. This isn't the type of guy I have for you. And you have gotten to the point where you're like, Lord, whatever you want, I truly want. Lord, it does not matter. I just want what you have for me. 
But deep inside, your desires, your will is going to show up when this person shows up. If this person is just a little off, you are going to disregard this person. The very thing that God has shown you, that you are saying you are accepting, when it starts happening, if your heart is not in the right place, if you are not allowing God to deal with the with your innermost being, you could reject the one. The same way that you are being prepared, the one is also being prepared. And the one has accepted you the way that you are. The one has accepted you flaws and all. The one has accepted you not being perfect. So why are you not accepting the one? Many of you have already encountered the one, but you keep rejecting him. And God is saying, I have blessed this. This is the person that I want for you. So this is for all of us. Especially the ones that are believing this um, to happen very soon. Especially the ones that feel like marriage is within an arm's length, right? Take some time. You and God, open up your heart to God and let everything come out. Let God reveal to you what is okay, what isn't okay. Let God reveal to you what could possibly make you delay. Just let God wash you. Let God wash the innermost being, your innermost being. Let the blood of Jesus just wash you. Let it purify you. Let it prune you. Let it take out all the gunk that is inside of you. And whatever is hidden right now, let it be exposed. Allow God to expose it so that you do not mess up. So that you do not become like that girl rejecting it even though she knew he was the one. Even though she knew that's exactly how things had to happen. Maybe God has already told you, you are not going to have a big wedding, not yet. Maybe he just wants you to go to the courthouse and sign and you are saying, yes, I accept it. Yes, I'm okay with it, God, because I just want to do your will. And then on the day when God tells you, you must go do that. You still want to fight God a little. You still want to say, but God, I deserve the big wedding. God, I've always dreamed of the big wedding. God, I have always thought this and this and that. Maybe the guy is going to come presented in a different way. Maybe God has said that you are going to marry a man like this, like this, like this. And maybe when you meet him, you will fail to see that what God had told you, God was speaking and future tense. Right now, in the present, it might not seem like he is that. It might not seem like he has that. But that's the promise that God has over him for the future. And maybe you might just not accept it. So let, let God, you know, just show us. Father, just show us what is hidden. Prune us, oh God. Prune our heart. Prune our emotions. Prune our mind. Whatever is hidden right now that could be a stumbling block, that could cause delay when we meet the one, we ask that you reveal it to us, oh God. Reveal our true intentions. We want to be real with you. We know that in your presence, we can be honest. We know that we can speak freely. You will not judge us, but we want your correction because we don't want to live the same life. We don't want to keep going around and around in circles. Yes, we want to allow 
your spirit to leap. And when your spirit leaps, oh God, we do not want to question you. When your spirit leaps, oh God, when there is your confirmation, we do not want to be moved by what we are seeing with our physical eyes. Let us be moved by your spirit and let us be obedient to you. Let us be obedient to you, oh God. So just reveal, Father, unfold us, oh God. Reveal to us, oh God. To those that truly want this check up with God. With those that truly want to be in your will. We ask, oh Father, that you open and that you reveal. Let your light come in, O oh Father, and let your light shine in every part of our being. Let your light shine, O oh Father, and let it expose anything that is hidden. Let it be exposed, God. We thank you for this opportunity. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, amen. Um beijo, pessoal. Bye-bye.